So we're here in the Sony press lounge at Photokina. I'm talking to Paul Genge of Sony UK about the new Alpha 900. Hi Paul. Hi Nigel. So, tell us all about the 900. Well, this is uh, our latest introduction to the Alpha lineup and really completes the, the full range now from mm -hmm. uh, being able to provide a, an entry product from Alpha 200 through to a semi-professional user with Alpha 900. It's the world's first and highest resolution digital SLR with a 24.6 million pixel uh, CMOS sensor based on our Exmor technology. So, anybody that's familiar with Alpha 700, uh, this camera applies the same principles as, as the Alpha 700, but in a, a full frame sensor now. Um, it has the super steady shot inside mechanism, which uh, enables us to, to move that sensor to counteract camera shake, uh, which is, is quite a feat in itself because the sensor is some 1.3 times bigger and heavier, and we have to move the sensor considerably further uh, to compensate for camera shake with any lens that you choose to attach to this camera. This is the first, this is the first full frame stabilized sensor, isn't it? Well, the the technology came from Konica Minolta, so anybody with Konica Minolta lenses um, will remember back to the, the Dynax 7D, which was the world's first in-body stabilised uh, SLR, and then this is now in, in Sony incarnation, the world's first full-frame in-body stabilised digital SLR, which is quite some achievement because you've got to move the sensor with 24.6 million pixels phenomenally accurately, pixel by pixel accuracy um, across its across it's plain to, to cancel out for camera shape whether it be with wide angle lenses or telephoto or it's, it's long shutter speeds and, and camera shape uh, that it can, it can take care of. Why do, why do you think Sony, they obviously saw a market for a full frame, it's quite a small market in the big scheme of things. Uh, what are Sony ambitions in, in this area? Obviously for it to be professional. Yeah, I mean Sony is very serious about digital SLRs mm. and uh, it's a, a growing market uh, that uh, Sony wants to provide the, the alpha user, the progression through our system. They can learn with, a, with an alpha 200, they can progress and enjoy the quick air live view of alpha 300 or 350, but it's that as aspirational ladder. But at the same time, of course, we're a competing brand. We want to compete against Canon with Nikon, uh, who both have full frame product. And Sony has the ingenuity and the engineering expertise in our, in our product to be able to uh, offer a full frame solution as well, which is a little bit different to the Canon or Nikon solution in many ways better. So we've got a viable alternative now to, to the other two brands. Obviously you've got, you've got, you've got the highest, that's, the, that's a headline grabbing uh, thing in itself, but the highest resolution. Highest resolution, uh, super steady shot inside, of course you're familiar with our three inch screen with ultra high resolution on it. So yeah, it's a, it's an all magnesium alloy body, it's weather sealed as well, it's, it's, a, it's a tool for the job. One thing that some people might say, when people say 24 million pixels, they might say, oh, they're going to be very small, there's going to be lots of noise, so what's Sony done about that? The sensor in Alpha 700 and the sensor in Alpha 900 are very similar. They're both called Exmor mm. uh, CMOS sensors. In actual fact, whilst this sensor is twice the resolution, the pixel sights are actually slightly bigger in this camera than in Alpha 700. So we have made a year's worth of advancement in noise reduction and we have applied our dual noise reduction process through our Beyond's processor and the Exmor sensor to reduce noise to a considerable level. And this and we, does it on, on the chip as well, doesn't it? It's on this sensor, does it on sensor, reduction. yes. On sensor and with the Beyond's processor. And as can you minus the benefits of that? We have uh, on sensor AD converters at every single vertical column up along the pic along the uh, the sensor, which, as you take the picture and the image is captured, mm. then scans the vertical columns looking for noise, and extracts it there, and then immediately makes that analog file into a digital file, so it's less susceptible to um, interference or amplification of the noise further down the image processing line, and that's unique to us. So what other things are unique about the camera? What other features to have? The, the viewfinder is is the big one. Right. If you have a look through there, okay. you'll notice it's a hundred percent field of view. It's very large magnification. It's phenomenally bright. Okay, yes, right, it's very freaking bright, isn't it? Fantastic.
it's as bright through the viewfinder as it is it's in real, real life. Real life. Yeah, yes. it's very, very bright. And obviously, this is is meant for the made for the uh, very large uh, pentaprism, but it's it's something that our designers have put at the forefront of, of the camera's development was the fact that uh, we wanted to, to deliver the best viewfinder experience of any digital SLR. And how how does Sony achieve that? And what have they done to make it the best? The uh, the very large pentaprism, the very large condenser lens, which is immediately below that. Um, it has an outsized mirror as well, and we've got a new hinge mechanism on the mirror which is it's a double hinge so as the mirror would normally flick hinge from the back end of a digital SLR with this model the double hinge lifts it at an almost horizontal plane just elevates it What's the benefit of that? we can pass more light through the the oversized uh, mirror up into the viewfinder so we're providing every ounce of the light that comes through the lens up through the viewfinder and into the photographer's eye <laughs> There's no, um, there's also no live view on here because of the, you wanted to make the, send, the viewfinder. There isn't live view, but we have intelligent preview. Right. So using the depth of field preview button, you're able to see mm. an initial capture, adjust things like your shutter speed, your aperture, our D-range optimizer mode and setting, which lifts up shadow uh, detail and white balance, and then the setting changes that you make, mm. you will be able to uh, apply to the next se sequence of shots that you take until you then change any one of them. Right, and that's all through the, uh, the three inch screen that we have with 921,000 dots, which is phenomenally high resolution. It's, it's 270 DPI, which is near enough photo print quality. Mm. And I, I guess you'd have had to compromise the viewfinder experience to put live view on it because of the sensor in the... If we applied the same uh, principle as we've applied in the Alpha 300 and 350 mm. where we've put a secondary sensor mm. in the viewfinder, then it would have compromised this, this viewfinder experience, which is not something we, we wanted to do on this it's camera. A great, it's a great viewfinder. So what are the other key features of the, of the camera? It's an all-magnesium alloy body, mm -hmm. it's weather sealed, um, so it's environmentally sealed against dust and moisture um, for, for light shadow, uh, sorry, light uh, uh, rain showers. Um, the camera here is fitted with a grip which is of the same construction or strength as the camera itself, so magnesium alloy and weather sealed. Um, you'll notice with, with Sony Alpha grips on all of our cameras, the shutter release button is positioned much lower. So it's in line with the centre of the lens in the same axis as your horizontal. And we provide a duplication of the uh, buttons on the back of the cam on the back of the grip as there's on the back of the camera. So you have absolute replication of handling and ergonomics right. as you do so horizontal that, as vertical. I'll hold that to the camera so you can see the back of it there. Quite a nice good shot.